Hello and welcome to our game 613 and today I want to talk to you about tomorrow. Now tomorrow in the UK, America and many European countries and quite a few countries around the world, in fact to be honest with you, we will be celebrating Easter. Now Easter is a time of year where we usually give each other chocolate eggs and there is other traditions in different countries around the world and how people like to celebrate it. But basically it's based around a religious event. I don't want to get too much into that. But the thing is, it's Easter. And we all love it. So, as you know, GTA 5 has many Easter eggs. And if you remember back in Vice City, I should hopefully show you on screen right now. Uh, you'll actually notice that there's this one where it says Happy Easter on the actual Easter egg. And if you go to Vice City Stories, you actually see that egg getting built because that's set two years prior to Vice City. And it's pretty cool. So it's like, yeah, okay, that's cool. And the thing is, I actually found that Easter egg there on actual Easter back in like 2004, maybe five even. And that's the first time I ever actually saw it. And it was actually on Easter Day. And I didn't actually claim that I actually personally found it. Basically, I was looking online to see Easter eggs in GTA Vice City. Uh, because of the, I think it must have been 2005 then, because I played uh, GTA San Andreas and I saw a load of Easter eggs there, including the one right on top of the Gantt Bridge where it says, no Easter eggs here, go away. And I was looking into some more and I actually saw that one and I thought, oh, that's got cool. I'll go and have an actual look at it and it'll be quite cool. So I did and that was on Easter Day. But the thing is, what I'm actually getting the point to of here is GTA 5. There's so many things we know about the game. It's like that green egg that everyone's looking for. I personally thought that was like the little light you see at the top of the UFO where Michael gets abducted in his little trippy dream type thing that goes on. However, I'm half believing that still and I'm half believing there is actually an egg in the game that you need to actually go and um, play about with. And I think if that egg does actually spawn, it will actually be on Easter Day. Now, there is plenty of other things that could actually happen on Easter Day. And that is maybe even the jetpack would spawn, maybe the spectrometer, which I'm very doubtful this would actually spawn just for a day or a weekend. But basically, these things could actually just spawn for the weekend. And then once you find it, maybe you get to keep it. If not, then maybe it'll just go after the weekend and you just get a little weekend to play with it. But the reason why I believe this could be a true thing is because if you look at Christmas time, they give you the snow, they give you the... Um, weather, the little Christmassy gear on GTA Online for literally just Christmas Day, Christmas Eve up until New Year. So you get about a week of it I believe. Um, usually the snow only lasts for two or three days though. And that's it, that's what you get. like The two or three days of chance to actually see the snow and then it's gone for another year. So I think maybe we are overlooking this little thing where the actual easter egg could actually be launched within two days or just three days and then it's gone so basically it could actually already be in game right now if that is actually the real case because here in the uk i'm not sure about the rest of the world we have bank holiday friday which is also known as good friday then we have normal saturday easter sunday then easter bank holiday monday so if it is actually in game, it would be in game now. Rockstar did do like a little mini fixes update the other week as well, which could actually have some code in to tell it to open up. Uh, I don't actually know what the file location is for that update, um, but I have actually had a look and I couldn't actually really find too much into that. Uh, other than that, I would like you guys to, if you have the chance to, obviously. Easter is more better spent with your family, so if you have family events pre-set up, go do them. If you want to see your family anyway, go and do that still. I'm not going to try and force anyone into this, but if you actually have the chance and you're on GTA and you're thinking, hey, I'm a bit bored, maybe I think you should have a look for the Easter egg. If you've got 100% game save, that's even better. If you haven't, it's still worth looking because there's some things you can still find, like the spider webs and stuff, that you can actually see without 100%, so that's kind of cool. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it that I've got to talk about. Hoping that we do actually find something this weekend. If not, then unfortunate, to be honest. But it's got to be found. And 
if there's any better time to find an Easter egg in the game, it's right now at Easter. Thank you very much for listening to this video, and I hope you have a great Easter if you celebrate it, of course. If not, then I hope you have a nice weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye!